What's up, YouTube? So I just got back from Goodwill and bought this Texas Instruments calculator. This is the TI-84CE. This is the colored screen edition. And it's backlit. And it didn't, didn't work at the store. So I'm gonna find out exactly what's wrong with it. Maybe it just needs a battery. So the face is pretty scratched up, but hopefully it still works. So let's take out this back panel. Yeah, there you go, no battery. So I'll have to find out exactly what type of battery this thing uses. And until then, I can't do anything. I got the replacement battery in the mail. This is the model 3.7 L1200 SPA twenty fourteen. Plug it in and it appears to be working. Everything seems to be A-OK. -okay. Well, that was easy. I just needed a battery. But what I want to do is open this thing up and just look at what the inside looks like. And it appears it uses Torx screws. See what size. Oh. Looks like it. So it's a size size T six stork screws. And we got six of them. Oh man, that sucks. It's held on by clips. That's so it doesn't just come off. Got some two Phillips screws here. And still a no. Let's just make sure there's no screws underneath these rubber feet. Yeah, yeah. There's no screws in there. So, so we're safe to pry it open. The trick is finding the, the first place to start prying. I 
think this side is is pretty good. So there's one clip on top right here that needs to be pried two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven clips. Need to be pried open. There's nothing here, so you can ignore the bottom part. So when you're prying, you just have to be careful that you don't go too deep and hit one of the surface mounted devices like this tiny capacitor. That would be hell trying to repair that. So I was just barely hitting that edge and prying it like a pry bar. So that's how it looks like. Here's an aluminum shield. Yeah, I'm not gonna take out, take out this board because it looks like it's plastic welded. To the front plate so it's not screwed down so it's windy outside and here's the LCD so it's attached to the board via this ZIF cable zero, in zero insertion force cable so it's not glued down like on the TI-83 or TI-82 where the cable is glued to the LCD and the board via a conductive adhesive pretty neat I like looking at this stuff Let's put it back together. Hopefully I didn't damage anything. back easily much easier than it came apart let's see if I broke anything power it up 
RAM cleared. DI84 Plus CE. Looks like it still works. Check the brightness. So that works. So I got lucky with this one. For five bucks, just needed a battery replacement. And this one also charges via. This is micro USB, mini USB. Yeah, I got lucky. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know. And if you don't like it, leave a comment down below. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel for more future projects. All right, until next time, see ya.